piece cut out, hopefully the motor is now going to fit through the hole in the floor of this rather old embassy charger. Then we'll fit this electric motor, which is here, connected to an MX-5 differential. We're just going to turn that upside down now, use the engine crane to lift it, and then we're going to lower the car onto this little unit. Hopefully it will locate in there. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, we've got the motor and differential installed now into the car, mounted quite solidly. It is actually on rubber mounts though, so that should take away any vibrations. Just the drive shafts to sort out and wire it up and we'll be away. Here's the lithium battery pack that's ready to go into the car. They're 100 amp hours and it runs at 96 volts, which gives us about a 10 kilowatt hour pack. We reckon that's going to be good for over a 100 mile range on the car.